hey guys welcome back so guys now in this video we are going to continue with the previous video section that is we are going to create a new section over here after the nav bar and the slider using bootstrap we are going to create one new section okay so till now we have done with the nav bar and the slider and now we are going to create the separate section into the container with the column rows and paragraphs subheadings sub subtitles section titles okay and the services we are going to create in the card format okay so guys now we will uh, let's get started with this okay so this is our index.php file where we have separated all the header footer everything as separate contents okay so as simple this is a header and your footer footer then the nav bar so this all things were getting meshed into this single file so we have just separated all this file if you are not understanding please watch out the previous video in the end of the video i have explained how we are using this php functions to use make a short short codes and use this okay so guys now we are going to create a section for this thing okay for this design now so let's start with the section section dot section okay so dot section means we create a class okay and now let's create one container dot container so we are using bootstrap this is all about bootstrap classes so now row so inside a container we have to create a always a row so inside row only you can create a column so now by seeing this design we need a one twelve inch column and one paragraph one heading okay so let's get back so let's create a twelve m d so m d is for laptop or desktop medium size okay m d which is responsible for everything mobile laptop and desktop okay and now inside this i am going to create one h two tag that is modern m o d e r n modern design solution by funda of web it okay and now we will give a class for this so let's mention this class name as section title okay and then we will create one underline so let's use div tag for this so let us give underline and let us tell one more um we'll use a paragraph p tag which is we we all are best at interior and exterior works at funda of web it whatever contents you are there can post okay and we will tell this as mm, section para or section subtitle subtitle okay this will be the subtitle and now let us create one more column so let's mention it one more column dl md 12 or else you can utilize over here also but let's create a separate column and tell this p tag where all the paragraph should be explained for example this para okay so this paragraph should be given over here so for right now we will call the dummy text so let us type dummy text and we'll give ipsum lorem okay so lorem ipsum just copy this dummy text and paste it that's it okay so you can use this dummy text control r okay so guys we are getting something like this right so now we have to set this into the correct format oh, one why okay this navbar is getting top let's fix this top at top as sticky okay so let's go to navbar and inside header 
class sticky sticky top that's it just a single class name you have to call sticky top that's it let's close this okay let's get back to our design so you can just it can be sticky top okay so guys now let's design this as per this okay so first step we are going to change the font so the font is already taken from the google fonts okay so we can use that into our heading tags okay so let us go to custom and the font is over here if you don't know how to take a font you can go to google fonts directly google fonts call this fonts open the font search for teco font okay add this so just copy this link and call this file so if you are copying this link make sure you are using at the header top inside the header so inside header means over here see i have already used this in previous video and call the font family into my custom css so as now let us create h1 comma h2 comma h3 comma h4 comma h5 comma h6 and set the font family copy this and paste done okay so let us get back to the index and let's go here reload it's set now done so guys now let us make this in center okay and let's give some spacing so let us call this class section and go to our custom.css file so inside that custom.css file i'm going to paste this and tell the padding padding top as 54 pixels 54 pixels padding bottom 54 pixels okay so reload now it is in like padding top is left and padding bottom also is 54 percent so let's get back and our section is set now so let us go to index and let's make all this into the center so guys you can just put that text center in the section okay if you want everything to be in the center or else you have to call in each thing into text center okay so you have to remove this one right so let us see here so this is coming into text center text center is a bootstrap class for the text align into center right so done and we want this also so let us call that over here and let us set the class text center done and now we will design this underline so we need an underline over here so control r i need an underline over here okay so copy this class go to custom let's type width width is equal to 40 pixel height is equal to 6 pixel okay background color is red so let's execute and check so it is set now and now i just want in center okay so which means margin right and margin left auto if i give it will be in center right so you can utilize the bootstrap class okay so for like margin right auto and margin left to be auto so it will set in center cool so guys now let us just give it this p tag little top and this font is not so cool so let us use open font open open sans font so let me remove this and type uh, not open sans we'll choose for poppins okay so let us click this and i have choose a single poppin font so I'm going to copy this poppins URL paste into my header where is my header file it's over here okay 
so set this is my pop in font and this is my index so guys this is a p tag so i just want all the p tag to be pop in font so let's go to a custom file and just type p tag and open class close class open curly and close curly braces copy this pop in font and then paste that's it okay set this as important finish so load the page so it is set now everything is looking fine okay p tag also is set and i just want a little space with this and uh, let me design this underline finally so this underline let us make the width little bigger okay let us give 100 and height let it be 4 pixels this is looking fine yes so let us copy this underline and go to our underline font and paste that's it so this is my custom underline load cool and this paragraph i need little down so you can use a bootstrap class called margin top so th this is my underline and i'm going to use that margin bottom to rem we will use okay so let us go back reload and it is a little bit down yeah cool so guys it is set now this design is done according to this and now let us change the red and black color okay so so this will be we'll keep this fund of a byte as red by fund of a byte as red okay so default is black or else we'll keep this modern design solution by fund of a byte so guys you have to just separate this by simple steps okay this time using now we have to create a span okay span tags so inside that span tag i'm going to paste this and now i will give a class called text danger okay so which means red color so control r see here it is coming to red color okay if you want to create your custom color you can copy this and give a class why come below give a class text red and type color colon red okay important right so text red will be there so you can use over here text red so guys now done text red is looking fine so guys now what we have to do is that we have to little increase the font weight and the size also okay so for that only we are using this section title so copy this section title and paste it over here so these are the structure for creating a sections okay so let us set the font size first font size will be 26 pixel font weight let us keep 600 done and let us see the output it is too small so let us inspect and increase the weight so this is my section title so section title have come over here increase the font size okay 32 and the font weight is 600 and let us give a letter spacing letter spacing one pixel is fine so let us use this so copy all this and paste into our css done okay close this control r now it's looking fine cool so see almost the same design is perfectly done so guys now let us get to the second part of this okay so guys you have learned 
that how to create a section and how the container goes okay so these are the step for creating one section okay section that will be like container row column and then the section title then the underline if you want and if you want in center means margin right margin left auto so these are some bootstrap classes you can if you are going through it every day you will understand clearly okay so guys uh, in this video that's it we have completed how to create a section and use that so in next video we will be continuing with the second part that is how to create a card inside a section okay by using the border and many things so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share